Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. particular about what we place our focus upon because we only want to lend more of our energy to something that we would like to see more of in our experience. We only mention darker timelines and world wars because we know that others are talking about these things and we want you to know that you don't have to experience them. You don't have to experience anything that you do not want to experience from now on. But in order to make that leap, 
you must be willing to take your attention off of what is not wanted and present in your experience and what is not wanted but has been predicted to be something that will happen in the future. We don't think we need to explain to you at this point that there is not one future. But we do want to explain a bit about the mechanics of reality creation. We mentioned that when something is focused upon, the being who is doing the focusing is lending their energy to that which they are focused upon. You are co-creating everything with some of your energy and some of the energy of something or someone else. You combine to co-create an experience together. In this way, you can co-create mass events. You can co-create weather. You can co-create so much that is good and wanted with your energy. The energy that is you. You just have to train yourselves to put your attention on that which you want to become one with. You can always tell when you are putting your attention on something that you don't want to become one with because you feel your energy is drained. As a result, you feel weaker, you feel more tired, you have a headache. All of that is going to get more intense because you have to be more precise as the energies continue to speed up. And as the time lag between creation and manifestation gets shorter and shorter, you become what you focus on. You don't just get more of it, you are getting more of a creation that has you in it. Because you are energy. And when you focus, you expend energy. You put energy towards that which you are focusing upon. Again, be selective about what you are focusing upon because you are creating it and you are using you to create it. In your reality right now, you can look around and see the things that you are creating Most of what you are creating in this 
now moment has nothing to do with what you are spending a lot of your time thinking about throughout your day. That means you are splitting your energy because some of your energy is being spent on creating a reality for you to experience in the now moment and some of it is off creating realities that you may or may not ever experience in the flesh. If you want to experience something else, something different than what is in your immediate surroundings, then by all means, think about it. Put your attention, your focus upon it. And feel how good you feel when you become one with something that is wanted in your reality, in your experience. Play around with this because it is a good opportunity for you to feel into what some of your creations vibrate as when they vibrate. You want to get familiar with the vibration of your desires, not the vibration of what you are afraid of, what you think might happen based on what someone else is telling you. That's not you creating your reality. That's you getting sucked into someone else's version of reality and agreeing to it because they're more creative than you are. This is how cults are formed on your world. The cult leader isn't just charismatic. They're also creative. You all want to be creating on purpose from now on. because the stakes are getting higher, as you can see in your world around you right now. Be very intentional and also be patient because even though things are speeding up, there is still a time lag. And you still have to wait for your creations to come to fruition. And we also want you to know that the positive creations come more quickly than the negative ones because the positive creations have positive energy. And that always moves faster. The Octorian Council. And we have enjoyed connecting with you.
Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching. <laughs> no Kaliandra tonight. I think she's in my office. Um, man, I had a fun, fun night with Talia tonight when... Uh, <coughs> once I was done working and we started spending time together, I, um, I picked up this book that was lying on the floor as things are strewn all over the floor in this house, as you can imagine. And it's her, um, one of her favorites called I Spy Everything. And um, there's all these pictures of different things um, on each page, right? And on the cover. So we're, instead of doing the, the whole like, you know, what starts with A and thing, all that, which we've done countless times. Tonight we were just looking at it and I was just getting her to like name the things that she she knows the words for. You know, I point to the the things like cup and and hands and shoe and she knows a lot of a lot of words now. But then um other times she'd be pointing at other stuff and she would go toko 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 <laughs> And so I said, I stopped her at, after like three or four of those. And I go, Talia, are you just saying tukul when you don't know the word for something? <laughs> and she laughed so hard. She, she knew I was on to her. I had, I had uh, foiled her little um, plan to just call everything by a made up word. And then we just had the best time the rest of the night. Every time uh, I would point to something and be like, I'd, I'd point to something that I knew she didn't know the words for, like um, the salt lamp, right? I'd point to that and I'd go, what's that, Tulea? And she'd go, toko. <laughs> and we would both laugh so hard. And uh, I mean, we just haven't laughed like that in a long time. And um, yeah, it, the fun just continued until uh, it was time for her to go to bed. And uh, we also did a hike today. Um, and tomorrow's my day off, so we'll be going to the beach, celebrating my wife, Mother's Day, and my mother, too, will give her a call. Um, <clears throat> I have a beginner's group channeling class coming up on the 12th, and anyone can sign up. Even if you've done a channeling class with me before, this one will be different. It'll be all new, two hours. Instant Teleseminar, which means you join by phone or computer. It's at danielscranton.com slash learn. Or uh, look for the link down below on YouTube and just click it. And you'll, you'll get to the page. Um, so you can sign up for that. And what else can you do? Um, <laughs> uh, do I want to reach for the book? I think I can get it. I have to go around the microphone and an old orchid here that is mostly dead. Here we go. This is my, the, this table is also used for food <laughs> consumption. So I have to try to keep this away from flying yams and things like that. Ascension, the shift to the fifth dimension, volume three by the Arcturian Council and me. This is my uh, third volume as, as it, is clearly stated in the title there of this. So this means that these are uh, 481 to 720. So there's in the three books combined, there's 720 of these uh, messages, uh, like the one I just channeled, and it's one per page. There's the back of the book with my picture, logo, little blurbs, very professional. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wanted to have one per page. You can flip it open, um, and just read one, you know, have it out on your coffee table or something, uh, it's split up into seven chapters. So, you, you know, if you want to focus on one thing or another, you can focus more on, on that chapter. Oh, I hope that didn't, I hope that sound didn't create a problem with the sound there. Um, Anyway, that's the book. It's on Amazon. There's a link down below on the YouTube um, description. And uh, everywhere else you want to find it, just go on your country's Amazon, type in Ascension, the shift to the fifth dimension. 
Daniel Scranton, Arcturian Council, something like that, it'll pop up. It, it came out really nice, the cover. You can't really see with this lighting, but the cover, it's like a orange sunset with uh, clouds. Um, so that's that. You can get it on Kindle too. Kindle or um, paperback. They don't let me self-publish hardcover for some reason, but I know it would cost more. It's more material to make the cover hard. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, day off tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Give my wife some gifts for Mother's Day and, uh, her birthday was just on the 6th. So she gets, she gets two days almost back to back. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it for now. I will, uh, see you guys tomorrow night. Thank you for watching. I love you. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. And, um, Hit subscribe if you're watching on the YouTube and uh, anywhere else. Just come back. I'll be doing this again. Uh, I do it six nights a week. And uh, I appreciate all the likes, comments, and shares. So please uh, go right ahead and uh, help this video uh, make some more uh, headway into the uh, YouTube audience. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. See you for now.